To balance this equation, sodium bromide plus chlorine gas yields sodium chloride plus bromine gas. We'll add up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have one sodium BRs, we have one of those, and we have two chlorines. Over here on the product side, we have one sodium, two bromines, and one chlorine. Let's start by trying to fix the bromines. We have one here and two here. We can put a coefficient of two, and that'll apply to the whole NaBr compound here. So now we have bromine, one times two. That'll give us two, and that balances the bromines. But for the sodiums, the one times the two, now our sodiums aren't balanced. So we have two sodiums and two chlorines. If we put a coefficient of two in front of the NaCl, for the chlorines, one times two, that would give us two chlorines, and those would be balanced, and the sodium, one times two, that would give us two sodium atoms, and that would be balanced. And at this point, we have the same number of each type of atom on each side of the equation. That means this equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaBr plus Cl2 yields NaCl plus Br2. Thanks for watching.